Benji! I can't believe what I just saw. You and Mark sign I love you to each other? I can't even. You know people can see you, right? You guys are perfect for each other. You're both complete dorks. Nobody else would ever want to date either of you. <laughs> Mia, could you please stop insulting me out of nowhere? I really don't like it. It was so, so gross watching you guys flirt and touch each other. Ugh, I almost threw up. Ah, I'm getting goosebumps just remembering it. Go get a room if you're going to be doing that. <sighs> don't do that kind of stuff in a cafe. It's so disgusting. We were just talking and holding hands. We weren't doing anything bad. Why do you even care? What did I ever do to you? Stop being such a crybaby. I was just telling you the truth. <laughs> How long have you two lovebirds been dating for? We started dating around two years ago. Wait, what? You've been dating him for that long? How are you able to date a dork like that for so long? He was such a huge nerd at high school. All he ever did was sit in the corner and read books. He also had so much acne. I cringed every time I had to see his face. Ugh, I'm getting goosebumps again. I don't understand how you can date a guy like that. He's just a gross dweeb. I don't think that he's gross at all. Would you please stop insulting him so much? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that you were dating him. You're such a nerd as well, though. <laughs> Why are you texting me all of this? Just leave us alone. Is there anything wrong with me dating Mark? Nope. You two are perfect for each other. <laughs> I just found it hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing after I saw you guys holding hands. I had no idea that nerds like you even dated people. I thought you would be a virgin your entire life. Imagine if you guys ended up getting married. <laughs> that would be absolutely hilarious. Well, I guess I'll just leave that to your imagination. So you're thinking of marrying that nerd? OMG. Your wedding would be completely empty. Neither of you have any friends. <laughs> have you ever slept with him before? You probably have no idea what to do in bed. <laughs> Want me to give you some advice? <laughs> I've got plenty of knowledge in the field. No, thank you. I don't want advice from a woman like you. I know that you've been with a lot of guys. You were really popular back in high school. I was a pretty bad girl back in high school. <laughs> I had a new boyfriend pretty much every month. Good times. Not much has changed, to be completely honest, though. I had a great time yesterday night with a guy I met at the club. What were you doing yesterday night? Reading a book? You probably haven't even kissed a guy before. I haven't yet. <laughs> what? No way. You've never even kissed? You're 37 years old. You're just joking, right? That means you haven't even slept with a guy before? You're a 37 year old virgin? I'm actually really worried for you. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're worried about me at all. You're just making fun of me and looking down on me. You don't need to be worried. I just wanted to save myself until after I get married. My family are all Christians. The Bible says to save yourself until after getting married. Stop blaming this on your religion. You're a virgin because you're an ugly nerd. I bet that Mark is also a virgin, too. I'm getting goosebumps just imagining you guys in bed together. It would be such an awkward mess. I can't believe you guys have been going out for two years and still haven't done anything. What's the point of dating each other? Don't imagine doing something like that. It's none of your business. You really do have no boundaries. You haven't changed at all since high school. You're such a mean girl. I'm just saying the truth. I think all my friends would agree with what I said. OMG, I should tell Natalie about what you just said. She would probably die of laughter. Please don't do that. 
What I told you is something very private. You probably wouldn't understand, but I wanted to save myself for someone that I actually loved. I can't do what you do all the time. I don't want to sleep with random guys that I barely even know. What is wrong with you? I can understand a teenager saying that. You're 37 years old! You're just missing out on life completely. Try having some fun in life for once. Most guys are going to be shocked if they hear that you're a 37-year-old virgin. You're basically a living fossil. <laughs> Mark is probably the only guy that would want to date you. He must be very desperate as well. Please let me know if you and Mark finally do it. Why should I do that? It's a very private matter. I think that you're just going to make fun of me even more. Pretty much. <laughs> it would be a great story for me to tell to my friends. You have to update me when things get heated up with Mark. Don't tell anyone else about this. It's my story to tell around. I'm not dating Mark so that I can entertain. I'm dating him because I love him. Oh, you're so cute. You love him. You haven't even kissed him before. <laughs> Are you guys still in middle school or something? I'm starting to get tired of this. Would it be okay if I left? Don't go yet. I want to hear more about your relationship with Mark. You just want to keep making fun of me. Oops, you got me. Don't mock me. No, you're just so cute. How about I teach you how to get a guy into bed then? I told you I don't need you to teach me that. The time will come eventually. I'm also not going to tell you about it at all. Just leave me alone already. I can't do that. I'm worried about you now. <laughs> I don't want your first time to be miserable. My husband just came back home. Damn it. I wanted to keep teaching you. Well, the lesson is over for today. I'll teach you all about it next time. I'm so excited to hear about you and Mark's future. I might not even be able to sleep because of it. We'll text you again soon. There's really no need for you to text me again. Please just leave me alone. You should stop wasting your time with me and go take care of your husband. What did you just say? Did you really just order me to do something? Watch your tone the next time you talk to me. Hey, Sarah! Guess what? I decided to get married again. I'm just so damn attractive. So that means you got divorced again. How many times is that now? Who cares about how many times it's been? My ex-husband wouldn't spend any more money on me. Can you believe that? I'm basically a supermodel. I need to be treated like one. Hey, try to guess who my new husband is. You want to know who it is, right? I really don't care. It has nothing to do with me. It's probably someone I don't know. <laughs> You're in for a huge surprise then. I'll send you a pic of him. Mark? Why do you have a photo of him asleep? Tell me what's going on right now. <laughs> Are you stupid? You really need an explanation. Your mind's so innocent. I was teaching Mark a lesson in love and romance. Oh, we had so much fun together. He's exhausted after we went so many rounds. Now he's fast asleep. He's kind of cute when he's sleeping. He's mine now. We're getting married. Ah, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to send you a wedding invite as well. You better come. There is no way that you're telling the truth. He isn't the kind of guy that would do this kind of thing. We were saving each other until after marriage. Why did you even invite him over? You were saying how he was gross and a huge nerd. What? Did I really say that? I think he just misunderstood me. <laughs> I had no idea that he was earning so much. He also told me that he recently received an even better job offer. He's an elite engineer. How amazing is that? I know that he's an engineer. He's my boyfriend. Oh, don't cry. He's not.
not your boyfriend anymore, unfortunately. He's all mine. I'm not letting go of a guy that earns so much money. I finally understand why you were dating him. You were just after his money. I can't believe you would do that. He looks so innocent. You're wrong. I wasn't dating him because of his job or salary. I really liked him for who he is. I thought that he was the guy that I was destined to be with. I'm not a gold digger like you. Aww, you sound so upset now. Don't cry, you little angel. I just wanted to let you know that Mark is my property now. You better not come anywhere near him. He's mine. Do you understand? You can't even call or text him anymore. He's my new toy now. I'm going to have a lot of fun with him. <laughs> I really can't believe that he would betray me like this. He's with you, right? Tell him to call me. I want to talk to him directly. Aww, you miss him already, don't you? You're such a baby. He's not coming back to you after he's been with me. I find this so hard to believe. He was acting completely normally when I saw him three days ago. I don't think that he's the kind of person that would do this to me. What did you do to him? You're such an evil devil! Oh, Even your insults are cute. I just flirted with him like I do with every other guy. It was so easy to make him fall in love with me. That's just how most guys are like. They can't think properly when they're talking with a hot girl like me. It was so easy to ask him out too. He seemed so desperate. <laughs> you better come to our wedding, BTW. I want to show off how happy we are. I'll save you a seat in the front row so that you can see us. You don't even love him at all. You're only after him for his money and job title. Yeah, pretty much. At least I'm honest about it. <laughs> I don't try to hide it like you. I'll marry him so that I can use his money all I want. I'm a genius, right? I can always find some other boyfriends when I want to have fun. I wouldn't have to work either if I make him my husband. Ah, my life is going so smoothly these days. I really can't believe this is happening. How did you even manage to go on a date with him? Tell me how you invited him. I just asked him to come get drinks with me at a hotel bar. That's all it took. Then we went to a bar and had some fun after we got drunk together. I had such a great time. You're gonna have to continue living a lonely, lonely life all by yourself. Make sure you reply to the wedding invite I'm going to send you. Mia! Wait, don't go yet. We still haven't finished talking yet. Let me talk to him directly. Hey, please don't ignore me like this. What did you do? You said something to him, didn't you? You're such a coward. How dare you mess with my life behind my back? I was actually planning to text you right now. Mark was telling me that the date of the wedding had been decided. Ah, that's a relief to hear. I knew he still wanted to get married to me. I was a little worried because he suddenly started ignoring my messages and calls. So glad that he still wants to marry me. When did he say that it would be? Wait, I think that you're misunderstanding something. I'm talking about me and Mark's wedding. I'm the one that's getting married to him. Not you. What did you just say to me? You're just joking, right? There's no way he's marrying you. He spent a wonderful night with me. I'm pregnant with his baby right now. Do you see what I'm talking about now? He's mine. I'm sorry, but I don't think that you're pregnant with Mark's child. I already know that for sure. Aww, I know that you don't want to believe it, but I'm definitely pregnant with his child. You should just hurry up and admit defeat. Stop with all these lies. I know that you and Mark didn't do anything together. I don't understand why you have to go through so much effort to lie to me. You're such a filthy liar. What's wrong with you? 
Did you just call me a liar? You're a monster! How could you accuse me of being a filthy liar? Mark's the one telling me that you're lying. You told him that you wanted to discuss something about me and asked him to come to dinner with you. He couldn't say no because you told him you had something very important to say to him. You even mixed alcohol into his drink without him knowing. He's allergic to alcohol. How could you do that to him? What you did was a crime, by the way. Excuse me? Um, did you just accuse me of committing a crime? You better be joking. All I did was mess with him a little. It was just a joke. What you did is not something that can just be passed away as a joke. What were you going to do if he had a bad allergic reaction? He could also have had alcohol poisoning. Um, but none of that actually happened. Stop being so overdramatic. You really are an annoying loudmouth. Shut your mouth! You then proceeded to send me a picture of him passed out because of the alcohol you put in his drink. Then you made up a story about doing the deed with him. I can't believe I almost believed this lie you made up. You asked the bartender to help carry him up to your hotel room, right? You're a criminal! Stop calling me a criminal! I hate being called that. Um, do you even have any evidence for this? Yes, I do have some evidence, actually. The CCTV cameras in the hotel show you and the bartender dragging Mark into your room. Ah, gotcha! You're trying to trick me. There's no way the hotel would show CCTV footage to a random stranger. Who's the filthy liar now, huh? Yeah, that's very true. I wasn't the one they showed the CCTV footage to. Mark's dad was the one that took a look at the CCTV footage. He's a police officer. Wait, what? He's a police officer? Yeah, he is. You were threatening Mark this entire time, right? That's why he couldn't call or text me at all. He didn't think he did anything with you, but he couldn't be sure because he was passed out. He was really embarrassed to tell anyone about what had happened, but he decided to ask his dad for help. His dad helped him get to the bottom of this, as what you had done to him was very sketchy. We never would have thought that you had the bartender help you commit this entire crime. He admitted to everything that you guys did right away. Now it's your turn to tell us about what you did. Just unbelievable! Ugh, I can't believe he would admit what he did so easily. I never should have trusted a scumbag like that in the first place. Ugh, I guess I'll give up taking Mark from you then. You should be grateful that I'm giving him back to you. I guess I'll get going now. See ya! Um, I don't think you're going anywhere. You have a lot to discuss with the police before going back to your normal life. We're also going to be hiring a lawyer to sue you for this entire incident. You spiked his drink and created a lie so that you could try to get married to him instead. We have all the evidence we need to win this case. You better be prepared. Um, excuse me? I don't like being threatened like this. You've blown this way too out of proportion. You really need to calm down. We've also been friends since high school. This was just a friendly joke between friends. <laughs> I've apologized, so it's time for you to forgive me. I am definitely not going to be forgiving you for this. I can't believe that you don't understand the severity of what you did. Ugh, okay, fine. I admit I did something bad. I'm really, really sorry. I just don't want to have to be arrested for this. I'm so sorry, so please just forgive me. Pretty please. There's no point in you saying any of this. I'm not going to forgive you. I can't believe that you even lied about being pregnant with this child. I thought my life was basically over when you said that to me. I believed that the love of my life had betrayed me for you. <laughs> I forgot I did that too. <laughs> that was just a joke. Would you please just not report me to the police? I'm really, really, really sorry. Now can you forgive me? I know that you're not really sorry for what you've done. Just sending me a text message saying sorry isn't going to change anything. You've always insulted and harassed me ever since we were in high school. Think of this as revenge for everything that you've done to me. I'm going to leave the rest to my lawyer now. 
If you have anything you need to talk to me about, you can tell it to my lawyer first. Ah, uh, what have I done? I really didn't mean for things to end up like this. Give me another chance, please. Pretty please. I'm begging you. Come on, we're friends. You don't need to do this to me. Why aren't you replying to me now? Hello? Um, are you seriously just ignoring me? Oh, I just saw that you read my message. Have you finally decided to forgive me? Thank you. Not at all. I just forgot to tell you something. Me and Mark are going to get married in exactly three months' time. I was planning on sending you an invite. Although you probably can't come because you'll be in prison around that time. You really need to be punished for this crime that you committed. I hope that you use this as a lesson to learn and become a better person in the future. What? I'm really going to be going to prison then? Please don't do this to me! I'm really, really sorry for what I did to you guys. I'll do anything to make you guys forgive me. Please! I think I'm going to cry! Aww, you're going to cry now? Tough luck, loser. Goodbye forever. We decided to hire a lawyer the very next day and sued Mia for everything that she had done. We ended up having a court case and she was found to be guilty for her crimes. She was sentenced to one year in prison along with the bartender that helped her commit the crimes. Three months later, me and Mark had our wedding and finally got married to each other. We are currently living a very happy life together as a married couple and hope to have some children in the future. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and pressing the like button.